Hi, this is Deacon Jeff, and today I want to share with you my thoughts on returning to Mass. Last Saturday, May 16th, was a special day. Most Merciful Jesus Catholic Church in Madison, Alabama, celebrated its first public Mass since Bishop Robert Baker had suspended public Mass in response to the coronavirus in mid-March. Now note, during this time, Mass was still celebrated, but privately. And this is important. Why? Because the obligation to celebrate the sacrifice of the Mass continued in accord with Canon Law 904. This states, Remembering always that in the mystery of the Eucharistic sacrifice, the work of redemption is exercised continually. Priests are to celebrate frequently. Indeed, daily celebration is recommended earnestly since even if the faithful cannot be present, it is the act of Christ and the church in which priests fulfill their principal function. I bring this up to make a point. While public mass was suspended, our priests were still serving God in their parishes they were doing their best to serve us and to make the most out of a difficult situation. And then this brings me to my thoughts. In the weeks leading up to May 16th, my brother Deacons and I served with Father Joy as we live stream Mass for our parishioners, allowing them to watch and participate in spiritual communion. And it was a surreal experience. A church that normally would have had close to 300 people in it had less than eight. And when I read the gospel, my focus was on a camera not on the eyes of people. There was a sense of emptiness for sure, and there were even some feelings of guilt as I was able to receive the Eucharist when so many could not. And I knew in my heart there were many out there hungering and thirsting for the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. But now public worship is being allowed again, and that first Mass was bittersweet. There was joy seeing 50 people in the church excited to be back together but there was also sadness. It was like having a family get together and half your siblings are not there to join the celebration. However, it was a start. Everyone was thankful to be there and happy to be back together as a parish family. After mass, we offered drive up communion for those not comfortable being with a large group. As I stood outside vested for mass and wearing a mask, I wish people could have seen the smile under the mask. Just knowing we have parishioners who love Jesus and are willing to come out to receive the Blessed Sacrament made me so happy. What a blessing it is to be able to serve you. And that evening, God smiled on me. One of the reasons why I serve as a deacon is because I seek God in those that I serve. I try to recognize Jesus in each of you. And that evening, in the eyes of a bearded stranger, as we said the Our Father together, for a brief moment, I was looking into the eyes of Jesus. While we have begun gathering for public mass again, remember your health and safety is important. Our bishop has still provided a dispensation for those who are considered high risk if they become infected by this virus. For these people, the obligation to attend mass does not apply. Doing what is right for you and your families is necessary during a pandemic. And don't worry, God understands. God will bring good out of this. I know that my appreciation of my faith community is even stronger. What good is God working in your life during this time? Ask God to help you see him at work during this pandemic and ask him to reveal to you what he wants you to learn during this time. This Sunday, we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord. And in Matthew's gospel, Jesus tells us, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Having this break in my usual ministry routine provided me an opportunity to try something I would not have imagined. And that is doing these videos. I hope you find them interesting as I try to cast a wider net into a bigger ocean to follow Jesus as a fisher of men. 
to follow his command we just heard in the gospel to spread his message throughout the world. You are always in my prayers. And my prayer for each of you this week is that you may encounter God, recognize him, and fall deeper in love with him. May God's grace and peace be with you.